How far will I carry this Conjure Blade? Choose a rare card looks good. Watcher has a couple rares we haven't uh, achieved mastery of. And if anybody can afford to throw away a few Act 1 hit points, it's Watcher going into Hexaghost. Probably want to kill these two elites. That means the Burning Elite's not really viable. We could maybe do this elite, though. Or we could go around. Something like this. Optionality. No shop? No, no shop. Okay, choose a rare card. Conjure Blade and Spirit Shield. All right, I think there's no streak on the line either. But I think we should just take this Conjure Blade and either A, try to make it work, or B, better yet, try to get two of them. Conjure Blade is also a, a card I could probably nominate as one of the most difficult to get done here. It's it's just not that good a card, although it is very cool conceptually. You pay X cost, creating a multi-hit card in the draw pile, which is then a reusable super-powered sword. Pretty badass. And it sounds really cool, too. That's the best part. How many combats we want to take? Probably take a couple events here. No weakness for me here. Problem with Conjure Blade is it often takes multiple turns to get set up. It's often just better to play your attack cards, or block cards. I think X equals two. Kerblam. Yes. Smoke Bomb is our first potion, perhaps an ill omen. But you know what goes with an expunger, and basically every other Watcher card, is Talk to the Hand, allowing us to gain block per hit when we attack our foe. Beautiful. Not a terrible um, Simmering Fury either, actually. But I'm definitely happy with an early talk to the hands in almost all situations. Hmm. Could take one here, but I don't have to. I don't think I'm going to. And I'm not going to play this. Note that Conjure Blade is one of only a few X cost cards that you should not ever play when it's when you have zero energy. You are allowed to play this card with zero energy, but doing so will create a one cost deal zero damage attack card in your draw pile, and you'll be very sad. Pew pew. Bacteru, thanks for the 10 months of support, the heckin' metric year. Let's go. Hmm. Leave the hand, talk to the hand, or actually genuinely just lucky. Useful for finding that expunger. And it's good with talk to the hand. Yeah. This is already a situation where I, li I like this card. Very low value on it by default. But if you can add to it with powers, relics, or Scry Synergies. It's quite strong. And I think I'm ready to take two events. I believe in this Conjure Blade. Give me the heal, Cleric. I'm in need. Now we're going to have, have a much more comfortable act overall. Thank you. And the Serpent Offering Doubt. That's a fat no. No, no, no. Goodbye. All right, our third and most deadly opponent, Jawworm. It's basically a strike plus the power. I 
There we go. Upgrade of Conjure Blade is X plus one. The Expunger separately upgrades to 15 damage X times, which is really, really strong. Ooh, I like Crescendo, and actually I like Third Eye as well in this sort of deck. Third Eye really makes this Expunger work a lot better. Uh, as does Crescendo, allowing us to retain a damage booster for that big multi-hit. I think Crescendo is very good. Let's take this Crescendo. Having a second Wrath entry is quite valuable, and having Retain on it even more so. This is good insurance against bad draws, you can think of it. So that we can always line up, for example, in the Legavulin fight, we can always line up the Expunger and the Wrath. Whereas if we're relying on just Eruption, we might get completely hosed. And that would be sad. So, I think we're capable of taking this Elite, question mark? Do we have to? We don't have to at all. It does seem needlessly risky. This deck is pretty upgrade hungry, although we did get the extra health. And we have a smoke bomb. So, right, we have a smoke bomb. I like having a smoke bomb. Hmm. Do I want to vigilance or do I want to just play three strikes here? Looks like we're hoping to play Conjure Blade turn two, kill turn three. But that's entirely dependent on drawing Conjure Blade turn two. You can always just leave. An X equals three expunger doubled would be 2754. Maybe we want a Miracle Vigilant Strike Strike. It's an option. This is really not going to work out unless uh, we see Conjure Blade next turn. So I guess we Smoke Bomb if that doesn't happen. Yeah, let's use the Miracle now. Do not get Conjure Blade. So we're leaving. Yeah, we're leaving here. Hey, Annabel. Not only did we master the Thunderstrike, we got Forethought at the same time. See you later, you stinky knob. Easy. All right, so we essentially lose one floor. That's not the worst. Am I going to upgrade this Conjure Blade? I think we might want to upgrade Eruption or Crescendo first. Or talk to the hand. Although uh, we could be facing sentries next. Let's make it Eruption first. It's uh, a good standby. Ooh, juicy. You dare. Fair enough. Now perish. Foul beast. Gotta love both Wallop and Flurry of Blows here. Flurry comes back when we change stances. Good with a talk to the hand. Wallop is just a simultaneous block and attack card. Always welcome on Watcher. I'm going to take the Wallop. I'll take this chest just for fun. They're both the same, by the way. Dreamcatcher, more like... Lamecatcher. I'm out of here. Oh no. This is not the turn one you want to see here. Not quite enough damage to kill any of them. 
And no block at all. Ouch. Maybe the dream... <laughs> now, Dreamcatcher, where are you? McLow, thanks for 20 months. Two metric years. I can block for up to four. But it's probably better to hit them each one time. To avoid damage on future turns. Although one of them I should be able to kill with a double damage wallop or eruption, actually. So let's get two block. This. Interesting. What a fight. Okay, we do get a potion back. Inner piece, signature move. Interesting. Hmm. It's almost workable, actually. Probably better to take the inner piece. Let's do that. Sentries are... Sentries are definitely more difficult than Lagavulin would have been. I don't know... I think this might be our best skill potion use. Warship's cute. Uh, empty body's excellent. Blocks for a lot and leaves calm stance to give us more energy to work with this conjure blade. That's perfect here. That's exactly what we wanted here. So we can either vigilance empty body or maybe better yet inner peace empty body. And then make a very strong expunger. Can actually have it be uh, five hits as a guaranteed one hit KO on every with everything here. Although that's not necessary with our wrath, probably. Hmm. In fact, I probably want to chip away at one. So I think let's do this: inner piece, empty body. Strike this one. Conjure blade for four. I'm going to keep chipping away at this one. We're looking to go full aggro next. Okay, so we can kill the middle one easily with the expunger. And we have wallop for next turn. Good. Excellent. Too bad. Not too bad at all. Additional max HP, very much welcome. Do we want to swivel? I don't think so. We want more consistent offense. Skip it. This is either Gremlinob or Lagavulin. 
Makes Talk to the Hand a pretty good upgrade. Let's do that. And then Conjure Blade is our last upgrade, I think. As we know, the Conjure Blade plays against Hexaghost. Actually, not too afraid of Grebla Knob here. Not with the uh, upgraded talk on turn one. Also with Centennial Puzzle. We're going to be in good shape here. We do want to take a little bit of damage here. Hmm. I guess I can play skills to make that happen. Um, how much guaranteed damage do we have? This is... 18, so 36. I think that means I need to play both strikes, yes? Uh, minus 24 brings to 30. Yes, that would be a kill then. But now we're blocking too much. So, we play the Miracle. Increase Gremlin Ob's damage to 28. Now we're perfect here. Use the Centennial Puzzle, draw all of this, and kill the Gremlin Ob. It's that easy. We kill the Gremlin. And now we've got a Tori, which makes doing the one hit point damage for Centennial Puzzle a lot easier. Do we want to conclude? I don't think so. Double Wallop's pretty sweet. I'm pretty happy with Double Wallop. Yeah, we really needed to be able to, to find the way to get the draw there in order to make that work. Knowing that we didn't need the energy from the Miracle because we looked at the draw pile. Very, very important. Let's see, 18 block versus 22. We can play the defend, though. All good. Uh, although I could actually just, again, take the one damage here. I don't think we need to in this fight. Being at 13 versus 11, that big a deal for Hexacos? Not with Tori, it isn't. Okay, so just play the defend. And this too, why not? Also, we might be drinking this potion. We're not. Not yet, anyway. Not until we have to. Meditate. Excellent card. Another way to get into Calm Stance, and a way to get a card from the discard pile into our hand, which might be the Expunger. Uh, and the Expunger is how we're going to beat Hexaghost into a fine pulp here. By upgrading Conjure Blade, we can get a more powerful Expunger to uh, chomp this boss down quite thoroughly. And we even drew it turn one. Let's just go ahead and make X equals five expunger. Nine damage five times. Let's go. Not afraid of this incoming damage thanks to the Tori. We could use the weak potion to block it though if we wanted to. Uh, we're gonna draw more, so I'd actually prefer to do that. Note that Hexaghost's turn 2 damage here is based on your current health, so if you stroll into this fight with 50, 60, 70 health, you'll see 5x6 six six or 6x6 six six or even 7x6. Uh, but if you come in here with very low health, Hexaghost isn't immediately threatening. Kind of a weird sort of scaling boss mechanic. Pretty cool, actually. Ooh, didn't get the talk to the hands. Hmm. It is literally the bottom card. Okay. Means we can't eruption expunger here. Unless I want a weak potion, I guess I could. But we don't need to use that weak potion, so I don't see a reason to. Instead, I'd prefer to go defend expunger, meditate expunger. Next turn, we have talk to the hand expunger. Expunger. 
and Crescendo. And Eruption. Hmm. And Wallop. How much energy do I have then? Five. So we go Talk to the Hand, Eruption, Expunger, Wallop. That is filthy. Let's do it. I could even do the math to find out if I'm allowed to play Eruption first for more damage on the Talk to the Hands. Probably doesn't matter, but sure, let's let's do it as an exercise here. Is it better to play Talk to the Hand first or Eruption first? Hexaghost's damage doubled in Wrath is going to be 24. Um, if we play Eruption, then Talk to the Hand, then Expunger, we get 5 times 3, plus after playing Wallop, we'll get 18 plus another 3. That's going to be way more than enough. That's right, and 2 more from Burn. So the answer is yes. We full block even when taking the less block line. So we should do the more damage. Why not? Blah. Yeah, 36 block. Plenty. Plenty, plenty. Now we can bonk. Get back the expunger. And we have crescendo expunger. It's one dead boss. Expunged. That is a pretty strong card. GG. There's the Master Reality. Whenever a card is created during combat, upgrade it. But is that actually what we want here? I don't think so. You have to draw and play the Master Reality first, then draw and play the Conjure Blade. Bit iffy here. If you want a bigger blade, the Deus Ex Machina is kind of nice to give us a boost of energy one time. Um, that said, Vault is also fairly compelling here for an extra turn. I actually really like this Deus Ex. Especially with um, Centennial Puzzle. Let's do that. Let's take a Deus Ex. Surely this will save us. And we're offered Crown Calling Bell Black Star. Oof. This is not a Act 2 Elites kind of deck, let me tell you that. Not at all. Oddly good Busted Crown. I might take Busted Crown here. Although that will make it very hard to get the second Conjure Blade that we actually need. Hmm. Blue Man came from the tubes. Hello and welcome. Thanks for dropping that Prime sub. Appreciate you. Calamity Buddy says, Does Deus Ex count as a card played for Time Eater when it exhausts? No, not when you initially draw it. Only the miracles that you play are a card play. Drawing it will generate a card from Dead Branch, though. And Dead Branch is a good reason to take the Calling Bell for a chance at it. What makes Crown good here? Crown is more energy per turn, which is very notably going to allow us to play Wallop and other attacks more often. It's going to allow the Conjure Blade to consistently be one blade higher. And it's going to allow us to use Inner Peace as a card draw card, and then still actually be able to afford other stuff. But the crown is good here just because our uh, energy needs are so high in the stack. That's true even with the Deus Ex. Meanwhile, the Calling Bell sets us back one card by adding an unremovable curse. I don't like that much. If we find Blue Candle, though, it could be very nice. Hmm. I genuinely don't know what to do here. You know what? I'm going to put this one up to chat. I, I very rarely do this. Let me make it a poll here. Trellic. Calling Bell or Busted Crown? Let's just make this a very short poll. Tell me, Twitch chat. What do we pick here? You see the deck during the poll? Yes. Here is the here is the, the deck state. You can also, of course, use the extension if you're watching on desktop. You can open up the deck screen yourself. 
if you want to. <laughs> no, Black Star is not being considered here. I know how this deck fight. I know how this deck goes against uh, three slavers. We just did that. We will perish in an Act Two Elite fight if we take this Black Star. So they want relics. All right. What is the toll of listening to chat? The calling bell. Darkstone Periapt from the Calling Bell. Classic. I always love that it gives you the curse before you get the relic, just so that this is extra useless. That said, Aura Calcum for guaranteed block, and Boot Thingy for turn three block are both pretty good. So, I don't hate that. Do not dislike that. Oh man, what a weird act layout. There's your suicide Black Star path. Just die. <laughs> Enjoy dying. Better than a boat. And an oldie but of goodie for chat, courtesy of the DMD. Why did the tomato blush? It saw the salad dressing. Trying to figure out whether I want one or two shops here. Two shops could be two defender moves, which would be very appreciated. Yeah, let's do two. So max block here is what? 13, that's it. Two block left over. The weak pot, they go to eight. That won't work. So it's probably Vigilance talk to the hand then. Take uh, 12 damage. Don't use a potion. The only common curse relic is Omomori, which of course makes it harder to get curses. Hmm. Probably eruption, wallop, and then back into calm. I don't think we need to conjure blade in this fight. Although we could. Thieves must be expunged. I guess we don't need to exit Wrath here. You face justice. Justice has been served. And we're probably taking a cut through fate just because it's a very broadly useful card. Weave's also cute here. Returning to our hand when we scry. Very nice with talk to the hand. But uh, we don't have enough scry cards yet. I'd rather take the cut through fate first. Ah. This relic is terrible. Panic button is takeable. Actually, quite nice with talk to the hand. This talk to the hand is uh, not stopped by the panic button debuff. And I could still afford two removes. Meat on the bone definitely could be useful. That's certainly true. Could be a way to limp our, uh, limp our way through the act, potentially. But it's so expensive. Relative to some of the other things that we can get. Doing this. 
Onward. Okay, I'm okay with that. And I definitely want to keep that. Captain's Wheel, very, very helpful in this fight. Chosen always does a very nasty attack on turn three of the combat. Turn one and two, not so much. Hmm. This looks like the weak potions. Time to shine. Currently, we're taking six, counting for Oracalcum. I could Dex Potion and Defend, or Weak Potion. Actually, both are viable. With Tori, if we're going into an Act 2 Elite, I'd much rather have the Weak Potion, as it can block Book of Stabbing very effectively. So let's actually use the Dex Potion here. take one, um, and I will cast a couple of these miracles to get a decent Conjure Blade going here. Pretty much no matter what happens next turn, we're fine. Blah. All right, good fight. Upgraded Foreign Influence, or Upgraded Wreath of Flame. Actually, this is a kind of cool deck for Wreath of Flame. Wreath of Flame can make Expunger do more damage per hit, um, but it can also make Wallop do more damage and therefore create more block. So because it works with not just Conjure Blade, but also Wallop, I like this Wreath of Flame. If it were just the Conjure Blade interaction, that'd be a, a pretty garbage card, to be quite frank. That said, Foreign Influence is really nice for zero cost. Oh, it's also Unmastered, though. Get in here. Maybe Empty Fist? Yeah, we have three ways out of Wrath. I don't need an Empty Fist. Beer New Evil would be good, but can't afford. So I guess the biggest question is, are we doing something crazy like this? Hmm. Seems ambitious. I guess we can see how the first one goes. We have to dodge the rest side if we want to dodge the second one, though. Hmm. We should probably take the fight. Although the fight could go kind of badly. See how this do. Okay, this is a good fight to get. This is a, a fight that the Captain's Wheel helps with. Definitely some fights we could have gotten that would not be so good. Keep you alive for walloping. Case in point. Hmm. This is not completely ideal, though. Maybe this is Eruption Wallop? That's gotta be it, right? Yeah, we killed this thing. 27. We can kill with, uh, Talk to the Hand Just Lucky, yes? Let me just double check, check that. 27 plus 14, 41, 46. Yes, that's enough. And then we block for 18. Incoming 22, take the magic number of one draw into the exits with lots of free block. <clears throat> that should be perfect. That's 
perfect. Uh, do I make an expunger of one? I don't think so. Doesn't seem worth it. Let's see here. So I could just take, choose to take another one to get an extra energy here. That's probably worth it. Let's see if I can find Deus Ex. Yes, that helps. Read the Flame is actually better than Strike, amazingly. Well, sort of. Hmm. Imagine we're getting Eruption back. Might as well Miracle Strike, Miracle Meditate. Take the one more. Yeah, that's almost a guaranteed kill next turn, then. Beautiful. Okay, that was not bad. We only took two damage. We did not get a potion or an upgraded card. But that's okay, I suppose. Do I want any of these for the elite fight? Not really. Simmering Fury could help a lot, but it could also be a really bad draw at the wrong time. So let's just go in with what we have and see what happens. These three are definitely our worst nightmare, but turn one panic button means we won't be taking any damage. That's kind of cool. Hmm. I think we're better off playing, let's see, Wallop, then Wreath of Flame, Inner Peace Panic Button. Actually, preferably, we want to take a small amount of damage this turn. Activate the puzzle. So we should just play Panic Button. Don't play Wallop? Interesting. Panic Button, Strike, Inner Peace, Wreath of Flame. There's 34 damage incoming. So if we Panic Button, we will take exactly one and draw a bunch of cards. We'll be in Calm. Our next attack will be boosted in damage. Uh, ideally, we'll draw into Crescendo so that we can double the additional damage of the Wreath of Flame. But in either case, we'll look to kill this slaver. Uh, and then if we can get back into Calm, we should be able to, with Aura Calcum, avoid the majority of the damage next turn, too. That looks pretty good. Let's do it. Sayonara, Wallop. Yes, we did get Crescendo, so we're able to double the additional damage from the Wreath of Flame. And that's actually quite important for getting a kill on this red slaver here before we get entangled. Let me just double check. We'll be able to do 28 plus 18 plus 6. Calculator, what is that? 2018 is already 46, so we can either just lucky one of these nerds. And then I guess I get to Conjure Blade Miracle Meditate? That sounds reasonable. We will take a bunch of damage. Does the weak potion save a whole lot? Not enough. No, I want to be able to book a stabbing weak potion. I think we're going to rest and fight another elite. I think that's what's going to happen here. I think I'm miscalculating. Don't even, don't even believe the numbers that are shown on these cards for a hot second. Uh, the vigor effect is going to wear off after the first attack. Just observe. 28... 18, 6. Okay, that's x equals 3. Uh, if I want to be back in Wrath, I need the Eruption again. We're not getting bonus draw, because we already did that thing. Um... 
yeah, do give me eruption. Oh yeah, we also have the block, even better. Drag them both. Okay, that went reasonably well. We score a mummified hand, which... Would be a good reason to take a power. There's a power. Good job. Good job. All right. <laughs> I like it. 27 health. Uh, we can probably be Book of Stabbing with 27 health. I'd, Gremlin Leader might just kill us, though. Let's, let's have a schnooze. We're fighting what? Uh, collector? Yeah, we're not going to be Collector on 27 either, so we need to eventually rest. Good news, we are fighting Book of Stabbing. Why is that good news, you ask? Because we have Tori, so this is going to be easy. We're going to be brought to Victory quite thoroughly here. And I'm more than happy to use the Weak Potion because it reduces the 7s down to 5s, which we can passively block. I shouldn't need Weak later in this fight, should I? How long is this fight going to go? Probably not very long with this opening draw. We just have to set up the Conjure Blade thing one time. Yeah, let's just use it now. Then we can go Inner Peace, Wreath of Flame. Uh, we actually want to play one of these Miracles because we're going to have too much cards in hand. Playing the Defend doesn't matter. I actually still do overdraw by one, but it's better now. And we did get the Conjure Blade. So how do we want this to work? With Crescendo in hand, I feel like we just... We just try to do this in one fell swoop here. Although I need to make sh quick mathulation here. If we do Conjure Blade equals 5, 17 times 5 times 2, that is enough damage. In fact, that's almost exactly enough damage. Perfect. So we could simply double Miracle Conjure Blade. I think that's an okay play, but I think there's a better play here, which is Miracle Conjure Blade for five. Miracle Meditate Inner Peace to draw cards. And we're looking to find the Expunger here, which we do get thanks to the inner piece. Expunged. Got him. Cool, a potion belt. That's going to be useful in the long term. Another Deus Ex is kind of whatever. I actually love this Bowling Bash. This Bowling Bash is sent from the heavens to answer our problems, which is fights where we have to kill something immediately when there's more than one enemy. This works really well with Talk to the Hand, blocking multiple times, and it can get boosted by Wreath of Flame as well when it's multi-hitting. This is excellent. Excellent card. Hello, we got a Toxic Egg. This is the delayed value of Calling Bell. Finding Calling Bell gave us this Darkstone Puriapt, a not good Uncommon Relic, but then we found another Uncommon Relic that was kind of good, and then the next Uncommon Relic even better. If we didn't have the Culling Bell, we'd be finding the Mummy Hand now. And we can get a lot of upgraded skills. Okay, and this is exactly where... the Bowling Bash becomes important. Without Bowling Bash, this fight is a nightmare. With Bowling Bash, we're okay. I don't think 
I want a miracle here. So we're skipping the 9 damage on Wallop? I'm gonna do that. Alright, talk to the hand the one with the most health, then read the flame. Oh no. That's not good. That's very not good. Dang. So much energy and nothing to do. Yeah, I don't even know if I play this strike, quite frankly. That is a true shame. I guess that means I probably use the Essence of Steel here to block for a little bit more. I'm gonna need some help here. It's not that good a potion anyway. Not quite, Neo Jaxi. Shops generate relics in a, in a different way, so they pull from the bottom of the list rather than the top. You can think of the relics as being a, a deck of cards where the relics are in an order. Every time you get a random relic, you pull the top card off the deck. Um, but shops take the bottom card instead. What about shop relics? Great question. Shop relics are also pulled from the bottom of the shop relic deck, even though that is the only way for shop relics to appear. Because why not, I guess. We're really counting on this uh, bowling bash to show up. Okay. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> if I hadn't played both of the Miracles, we wouldn't have gotten the Bowling Bash. Easy. Easy peasy. Oh, I should have counted that. Obviously, this was the correct guy to hit. <laughs> well, you too, buddy. Uh, we're going to Miracle something Meditate. We do Conjure Blade Miracle Meditate. That works, too. Probably just want to get back Bowling Bash, actually. That seems reasonable. Get him, Bowling Bash. Show them who the boss is. Us. Let's see, eighteen by two plus eighteen. This won't be a kill, right? Can't quite get them both. But I think we could block, so it's fine. Just have to skip the expunger. Yeah, no problem. Cool. Well, I'm really glad we saw that Bowling Bash. I'm pretty sure if we don't have Bowling Bash for that fight, we just straight die from full health. So, glad we found it. This is not the run for collect. Get out of here. Third eye, please. the hand this one? I don't think... No, no, no. That's ludicrous. Don't do that. Those are pretty good, though. Block for 15. Ugh. Keep the miracle. Gloriousness once again. Let's 
Let's go Wreath of Flame, Bowling Bash. The power. And then just Miracle, Miracle Wallop. Cool. This is now a Bowling Bash run. Prostray. Hmm. The Divinity is kind of spicy in this sort of thing, but it's yet more set up. Which I'm not sure we can tolerate. Indignation to add vulnerable seems far more relevant. Nice third Wrath Source. Let's do it. Could be very useful against Collector, for example. Now that we have Toxic Egg, it's actually not as important that we upgrade everything, but we definitely want this card upgraded for sure. Toxic Egg makes Crown bad in retrospect? Most certainly. Let's take an event here. Cursed Tome, huh? Well. This would be an obscenely good Necronomicon. And I want to rest anyway. The other two are also quite good. I think we should take it. I'm going to read this book. We lose 21 health going down to mere 8. But we get the End Caridian. The start of each combat, add a random zero-cost power into our hand, then make a different card free. It's pretty sweet. It's not what we were looking for, but it's pretty sweet. Go Inner Peace Conjure Blade for three, I think. Become confused. Oof. We got here. Only strikes and defends. Pro tip, when you're scrying on Watcher, if you see strike or defend, get rid of it. Pretty much universally. You don't want that. Go Crescendo, Indignation, and then Wallop does 51 damage, so therefore also blocks for 51. Nice. Uh, and I guess I can just end turn because you're super dead, Sneko. Expunged. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Rush down. When we enter Wrath, draw two. Yep, that's a good card and it's a power. So Mummy Hand says take it. I think we should probably sleep. I only have seven hit points. We could definitely end this run by just getting killed by Collector. Thankfully, the boat thingy will help out here. A little bit. Um, and our free power will help. We got an establishment again, which I am cool with. As that means, any card we meditate will be get uh, discounted. Oof, we did get attacked on turn two. That's a bit concerning. Hmm. Let's draw some cards. Okay, we do have a way out of wrath. Alternately, I could use this as card draw, because simply entering Wrath here doesn't seem that productive. So I think I should probably inner piece for three more cards here. Let's see, if, if we brick, what happens? We get six passive block, we take one plus seven plus twenty-one, and we die. Hmm. That's not good. That said, let's say I play Eruption Inner Peace. What happens? We block for eight. We take six plus 21. Oh, we go to one. So I can go to exactly one hit point by not playing the Inner Peace. Uh, 
That's a pretty bad line too, so uh, attack potion looking pretty appealing right now. Maybe let me kill one of them or do something. Something helpful, please. Wheel kick, that'll do. Yeah, wheel kick. I think that's a kill and... Potentially more, uh... Block or something. So let's go eruption wheel kick. Then we can inner peace. We get a wallop. Perfect. We play the rushdown before we play the wallop, or do I just want to wallop inner peace? We play the rushdown first. So exactly a 50-50. If it hits Inner Peace or Wallop, it's good. If it hits Crescendo or Strike, it's kind of wasted. But we can always play the Miracle. That means we're not using the Conjure Blade immediately. That's fine. Have already seen the Deus Ex? No, we have not. Okay, Crescendo gets hit, unfortunately. That's fine. That really worked out. And now we just take one, which is pretty good. Thanks, boat thingy. Well, you tried. No meditate, huh? So next turn's the mega debuff. We should do some damage here. I can go Crescendo, Indignation, Wreath of Flame, Bowling Bash, hit the Collector pretty hard. We should do that. If we use Third Eye, we can discard some of this. May or may not be a good idea. Being able to meditate two useful cards for the first turn of Collector's Attacking is nice, but at the same time, we'd love to draw a Conjure Blade next turn. Oh, that's right, we're gonna draw from Rushdown. Aha, yes, that's the missing piece of the puzzle. We are gonna draw from Rushdown, which means we get to meditate at the end of this turn. That's perfect. So what we want to do is scry all but two of these cards, the two cards we want the Rushdown to draw. Perfect. Let's go Crescendo. Indignation. Bonk. Power up the next bonk. Super bonk. Uh, Crescendo stayed zero cost because of uh, establishment, that's right. I wonder if we actually just retain um, Bowling Bash and Eruption. That sounds good to me. Forget the Conjure Blade. Give me this and this. So note, these both become zero cost. That's the establishment at work. And that concludes my essay on why Bowling Bash is better than Conjure Blade. GG. Omniscience. Hmm, that can do some very cool things for this run. And it's also upgraded. Lesson learned, meanwhile, could upgrade all the cards that we haven't upgraded so far, which is a lot of them, and would also be appreciated, although there's not that much time left in the run.
I'll take omniscience. Pyramid is here. Again. For the umpteenth millionth time. Pyramid seems like it's pretty sweet with Conjure Blade. We'll definitely have hand clock problems with Pyramid. But there will be other things that are amazing. Could have had less in their infusion hammer. I suppose it's still decent with the toxic egg. I mean, see a pyramid, take a pyramid. Feels right to me. Let's do it. Three base energy per turn makes this a kind of interesting challenge. Let's see how this goes. Is there a shop later on we're hitting? No, okay. Do hit this shop then. Not all the events? Not all the events. Care about that, that's fine. Strike would come back for free. I still don't want to play. Well, yeah, might as well play it here then. B -b -b Bowling bash. Good. The Indignation. Indignation's a pretty cool omniscience target. Play this card twice. If you're not in Wrath, the first play makes you in Wrath. The second play applies vulnerable to everybody. Pretty cool one, too. Not this one, I can tell you that. Horn Influence looking very helpful at the moment. Because of our low energy deck. Let's take this. Watch her always either broken or dead. There's no real in-between. That certainly can be how it feels at times. Poor Watcher. Would you like to eat wallops to the face? Actually, wait, I have all these powers in my hand. Let's... Let me hand you. Hmm. To shreds, you say? No, it's not actually guaranteed to work out. Because I can't play the meditate, I've just realized. Shoot. Um, awkward. Well, improve my odds, I guess. Of course. Classic. Fair enough. Well, did that to myself. Good news is we only take one damage. Didn't play Meditate on the previous turn because I wanted... This is a great Omniscience target. Uh, because I wanted to be able to exit Wrath on the following turn. This is also a pretty good card for a 3 energy deck. Rose and I. 
seems very good. Rose and I will let us see the draw pile in order, which is quite strong. I think I might also take a second mental fortress here. Now that we're doing stance swap things a bit more often, let's do that too. Also very, very good with uh, Gambler's Brew, the Frozen Eye that is. Lose all gold to gain a relic. Hmm. Okay. Eight bucks for the hat. We'll do it. Freaking get him, Bowling Bash. Got this. Oh, I can know what I'm drawing next turn. That's right. That's handy information. We don't have a wrath exit, but we do have wallop. And crescendo. So I could use the indignation for vulnerable. So let's just do this. Just lucky. No. Okay. Do I even have enough energy to do this? That's an important question. So I miscounted slightly. Goodness. We have up to six energy, so I can do crescendo, indignation, wallop, wallop, or. Crescendo, Indignation, Bowling Bash, Strike or Smite, and Wallop. We're going to have to block for 26, presumably. I can do that. Wallop will block for 27. Hopefully that's a kill, though, right? We're looking at triple damage. This does 18. This does 27. That doesn't smell like a kill to me. Uh, but this does more. We can Smite and Wallop. That would be... 36 plus 27. That should be enough, right? Sixty-three. We're looking at fifty something. Okay. Fifty-seven. So yes, that should be perfect, actually. Should be essentially a perfect block. Good, okay. So, assuming I counted this correctly. Yeah, good stuff. Now you die. And we took the warship. I'll take this now. Get coined on, nerd. The USX upgrade seems pretty bad. Wallop upgrades are okay. Crescendo upgrade is great. Power upgrades are pretty good. Hmm. Probably going this way. Maybe a combat because of the eggs. Hmm. Upgrading Crescendo prevents um, Mummified Hand from hitting it, which is quite nice. Let's get the energy upgrade. With three base energy, we're going to need all the help we can get. In terms of getting cards in play. Foresight. Nice. And not. Uh, the privileged information of knowing exactly where the expunger ends up. That's kind of cool. Just make a big one. So now we can see in the draw pile, here is the expunger, just after Omniscience. So we have a few cards to get through. Don't want to play just lucky. We want the Orc Halcom to let us block here. Okay. 
and then we can scry these cards. I don't need panic button. I do want these and this. These, please. Discord a wallop. One, two. I don't know if I want omniscience next turn. Hmm. Although we could then maybe get Prostrate down. Uh, double the Prostrate if I've played Warship. That works pretty well. And I've got Tranquility in hand. Yeah, let's do this. Discard one Wallop. Enter Wrath Stance. Play this Warship. Game five mantra. Oh, that's right. That stays in my hand. I need that though. Draw four cards. Strike to the omniscience. Oh yeah, this is almost perfect actually. Uh, although the only thing we're missing is vulnerable. Yes, correct. That's fine. So we want to omniscience the prostrate, putting us into divinity here. Might as well tranquility first, I suppose. Get even more energy that way. Uh, and then we can draw into our expunger and play it for super mega damage. Sounds good to me. A mathematical wolf. Think today is a good day. We mastered Thunderstrike on the defect today. It's a very good day. Five energy. Yeah, and forethought. That's right. Freaking forethought of all things. I can discard some of these next turn. Good. Let's go strike, expunger, inner peace. Yes, we want to be an inner peace so I can enter wrath. Spender does 36 damage five times. Not too bad. Keep everything else. I guess I don't need the bowling bash. Don't keep everything else. This card seems pretty good. that away and the turn with meditate want to meditate presumably indignation and expunger Get meditate, that's good. All well. Now this is dealing 35 by 5, and with the slow effect of giant head, we just gotta play some more cards. And then we go up even higher. 43 by 5. Expunged. The eternal feather will provide some much appreciated healing as we go into the final gauntlet here. Another Foreign Influence Plus seems genuinely decent. Still missing the actual second copy of either of these cards, though. Here's hoping that uh, one of the Elites maybe drops a Conjure Blade. Ooh, or we get a duplicate here. Apotheosis, pretty exciting. Second Panic Button, genuinely pretty good. Good impatience is. Definitely gonna take Apotheosis. This can upgrade all of our miracles, all the powers we haven't played, and 
the expunger itself. Quite nice with Frozen Eye, too. As is Finesse. But it's no panic button. I'm a little worried about impatience with these strikes. But we also have a lot of things that aren't attacks. Let's try it. Triumph. Gremlin Horn Triumph. That's actually really good. This could be Reptomancer. Let's recall here. Yeah, to be stressed at all times, Slay the Spire is a very hard game. Do not feel bad if you cannot replicate these results because they are a, a lot of practice and a lot of meta knowledge being put to uh, to use. Alright, we're gonna go rush down Crescendo here. Mind Blast is like a lot of damage, actually. Amazing. Cool. Your Frozen Eye, even though we're scrying, we know the third car. We know that we want to discard them both to draw Mental Fortress. And then we're set up pretty well for next turn. We're still not all that well. We could draw more if we needed to, we could. And we have Panic Button. Yeah, we're safe next turn. Don't play the interviews yet. And that's why the Panic Button's important. Good talk. Let's go panic button. Return the divinity card, please and thank you. And I guess mind blast? Hilarious. That's funny. Get destroyed, nerd. Uh, we want to draw the Apotheosis before we Mind Blast. It'll be cheaper. I don't think it matters that much. everything. See you later, Miracles. Can I do something fun here? No. Bummer. Toyonathopter is quite good. More healing when we use potions. Quite good for the final boss fight. Second copy of Crescendo to use per battle does seem decent. Sure, I'll take one more. What happens if you Omni a Deus Ex? It, it does not do anything, unfortunately. You exhaust the card and nothing happens. It's quite sad, really. Hmm, double Bowling Bash, maybe? No, we're not in Wrath. Do have Gremlin Horn. Could enter Divinity now. Draw towards that Foreign Influence. Turn one divinity is... Actually, no, I can't turn one divinity. Never mind. In that case... Cut their fate, eruption, strike is how much? 18 plus 12? Not enough to kill. Uh, 16 plus 12, actually. 28 damage. No, that won't kill. What a troublesome little uh, exploder we have here. Hmm. 
guess I'm not averse to taking one damage. Sure. And then just make room in hand. Actually, try to make omniscience free. Easy. Okay. Yes, in that case, prevent this one damage. Omniscience third eye, so that I can just control what my hand will be next turn. influence. Okay, cool. Double apotheosis. Ooh. You give me an orb slot? I don't care. We don't have Rushdown in play, but we can draw to that Tranquility. Or maybe that, uh... Wreath of Flame? Interesting. Let's discard both. Eruption, Cut Through Fate, Wreath of Flame, Doom and Gloom. Yes, that's the way. Hooray, Frozen Eye. work. The next turn looks kind of bad. No, it's fine. We have uh, the wheel. Which is really good at helping us out here. Excellent. Halt is pretty good in this deck. Very nice for a zero cost. Uh, for low energy decks, especially for pyramid decks too. Sure, we'll take a halt. Got so many cards in this deck. It's pretty cool. Potion chance at 80% tells me I should definitely take another combat. So we'll do that. Could have had like water mastered had only we had the foresight to actually pick it. Coulda, shoulda, woulda. Didn't. You want to play just one third eye for the bonus draw? Definitely. Where's Prostrate at? Too far down to get without the omniscience. Duly noted. Hmm, but I have to... Well, let's do it this way. Yeah, perfect. Discard that and only that. Sure. here. Barrage is pretty funny. These are all very bad. Five energy. Oh, we can get Deus Ex Machina too. Okay, so we just gotta kill one of them? don't need the indignation part if I if I do this correctly, right? 
we um, use Cutthroat Fate to get Omniscience into our hand. We Omniscience Wreath of Flame. And then we Bowling Bash the Reptomancer for what should be 26, 52 times 5. Oh yeah, that's tons. <laughs> get wrecked. That's the line. Bonk. Some Gremlin Horn going absolutely mental there. Hey, wait, you forgot about me. No, no, I didn't, Gremlin Horn. No, I didn't. Strike. Devaform can be a way to play a three energy deck, although I think we've already kind of sorted it. It is a nice Omni target. Makes the Conjure Blade kind of amazing. I think a second talk to the hand is just more uh, straightforward and effective here. So we'll be taking that. Hmm. Hmm. Brilliance, you say? Can't play that twice, right? Hmm. How much damage is this? It's only 99. Bummer. This might get me cursed, but that would be max health, so whatever. Easy. of the Forge. Alright, we didn't see any of the unmastered uh, cards that we have. This is, however, a pretty fun run, so no big loss, I suppose. Now that we have an Apotheosis, feels like probably Cutthroat Fate might be one of the better upgrades. Especially since we can also use this potion to upgrade any power that needs upgrading. Sure. Just dig for the Apotheosis more hungrily. There it is. We have foreign influence. Not much. Alright, a bit of an out here. Card plays versus the Time Eater are somewhat limited. Discard that strike, draw the wall up. Actually, no. Discard strike impatience. With third eye? Yes. Five cards next turn. Shendo, Indignation, Wallop, Halt. Wait, I don't have a commentary. We have to get Tranquility. Okay. Hmm. Bummer. Hmm. This could hurt a bit. Tells me we're missing the vulnerable from indignation. I don't like that. Shindo indignation. Wall up, miracle, cut through fate, tranquility. No, that won't work. Also, want halts. And we get free block next turn. Okay, that helps a lot. Halt, cut through fate, tranquility. Maybe that's the way. Keep the wallops in hand. Sure. Try that. I 
That's pretty good. So one, two, three, four, five. Wrong order. Here. Actually, wait. Can I count energy. Can I use eruption instead of crescendo? One, two, three, four, five. Yes, eruption instead of uh, crescendo here. this too. No die. Perfect block. I did not know that was going to be perfect. Good times. Okay, this puts me into divinity, which means you get absolutely slapped in the face. Sounds good to me. Fifty-four damage. And block. Strikes to forty. But what if I made a super-powered super blade? That sounds nice. Please create... Those. It's actually not as nice as I want it to be. Oh well. I think they'd be uh, five costs. That's right, they're only uh, two, because you spend the energy first. So we got two three hits. That's passable. But no, not amazing at all. Definitely not amazing. Uh, can I knock you below half here? Go Crescendo, Wreath of Flame, Bonk. Or Crescendo, Wall of Bowling Bash, also acceptable. Let's see, that would be 22 times 3. That's not enough. Right, 307 minus 66. 241. That's not enough. Uh, I think we still want to do it, though. We could Strength Potion to make it enough. That's true. I think we're fine. We've got Wallop, Panic Button, Inner Peace next turn. No problem. Actually, maybe that means I go Bowling Bash, Wreath of Flame. So that the Wallop hits harder. That sounds more reasonable. Bonk. Yeah, we can go wallop, panic button, meditate. Is that enough, actually? No, that's still not bringing you below half, huh? Hmm. Still not an issue. Attack next turn. We have a slight issue, but that's only a slight issue if I don't have Wallop in my hand, so I just meditate Wallop. Easy. We Wallop in a Wrath card. Oh, also we have Divinity. Right. Uh, that'll be for next turn, though. We'll kill next turn with Divinity. To make room at hand. Actually, is this even a kill? Doesn't look like it. There's no vulnerable or anything? Hmm. Doesn't feel like a kill. Let's actually just wait a little bit longer. We'll play enough cards to end this, though. 
It's actually really nice to have for next turn. Let's play all the block cards then. Not that one, fool. Round again we go. Fear not. Plus 30, 101. No, 111, right? You just double check that. 27 times 3. Plus 30. Yes, 111. Here we go. Easy. No need to drink any potions. That's not how we do. Fasting. Kind of awkward here. This is not the kind of deck that likes a fasting. Glad to see Impatience doing something. Hmm. We can meditate the worship. That is definitely a thing. Still not a good reason to play fasting. Fasting, though. No, we should definitely not play fasting. It will be very, very, very bad. I want to play something. I guess we're playing the miracle for hand space? Probably. Holding bash, meditate. Fortunately, this fasting does get stuck in our hand, which is not something we're entirely happy about. Question of do I want to crescendo before I worship here to draw these two attacks? Not really. Although that's essential to drawing this stuff next turn. Halt's useless if I don't actually have crescendo though. So no, don't play the crescendo. Just play the worship. We have extra block next turn after all. Gonna put the talk to the hand on Decca. Already activated the puzzle, so we might as well full block. Yeah, we do have some wasted energy here. That's okay. Next turn we draw these five. And then Crescendo draws Halt Third Eye. That's okay. Seems fine. Link up log page, thanks for 45 months. So close to four full years. Simply ridiculous. I guess I don't actually really want to be in Wrath that much. I don't have a good way to block though, so... Hmm. Uh, and then next turn we are able to Omniscient something, but... What? And why? Will we Omniscient? Wreath of Flame inner piece? Or do I need to third eye to get through some bad cards? 
Third Eye interpiece looks okay. Discard Strike, it's just lucky. Can use Panic Button to cover up the Omniscience. That works pretty well. So, why don't we just Omniscience Mental Fortress, then? Although it'd be unupgraded, it's kind of sad. Also, we won't have a way out of Calm next turn, so we would take tons of damage. Hmm. Don't like that either. Can Omni... Indignation? That's kind of cute. Omni Indignation seems good, actually. This will make uh, Deca vulnerable, remove the artifact off Donu, and draw two cards for us. Although I would have to play Panic Button first. That seems like a non problem. Let's try it. We should see what the forward influences generate first. Brilliance is quite strong. Sash Whip would let me vulnerable Donu, right? Let's take that. And Finisher, hell yeah. As you know, Sash Whip won't let me vulnerable Donu unless I finish her first. <laughs> Still might be worth it, though. I think we just do more damage now. Especially with Wreath of Flame? Yeah. Let's just do it. Although we do have to play the Vigilance, don't we? Hmm. Guess I'm not really allowed to attack for very much. It's not good. It's not good at all. We're in trouble here. Maybe Gambler's Brew kind of trouble? Yeah, I think so. I think so, yes. Okay, let's just commit to using that. We should discard six cards. At least six cards. And I should probably play one or more Mental Fortresses, too. We're gonna get Deus Ex Machina in hand, anyway. Okay. Three, four, five, six. Yeah. Get to this. Wallop is free. Cool. Quite enough. Ouch. Finisher is here, how cute. I can draw two with eruption. Means we can kill Donu here. Yeah, it definitely does. So there we go. Tranquility. 
Eruption. Strike Expunger Finisher. Hmm. Turn after that looks pretty bad, though. Finisher is going to be 16 by 4. It's 18 by 4. So we can play the strike on Decca here. Gremlin Horn. Heck yeah, Gremlin Horn. we can use the third eye. What does that actually do for us? Not much. Might have to use the weak potion here. So we are stuck in wrath now. And it is kind of spooky. Seventy incoming is eighty-four. Nope, we're fine. Easy. At least I think it's easy. Now that I look at this hand, I think maybe it's not so easy after all. Have to block for 16 by 2, right? Or whatever. This is fine. That three energy definitely is starving us once we get kind of far into the fight. But we're through there. We're on to Act 4. We have most of our potions intact and enough money to buy one more. And we're going to full health thanks to Eternal Feather. So the damage we took during the boss fights doesn't matter either. That's good. Means we get one more upgrade here in Act 4. Talk to the Hand or one of the Mental Fortresses, probably. Let's upgrade Mental Fortress because of the Elites, I think. Spire Spear and Spire Shield. Upgrading Rushdown to be zero cost is also reasonable. Again, all, all predicated on drawing all of this before the apotheosis. Let's do this one. Yeah, Mental Fortress makes a good Omni target. That's right. Ooh, Empty Mind might be better than a remove here. Speed Potion could be strong. Like Water was the card of the run, apparently. There's still one more card reward. I'll take this empty mind. 41 cards in the deck, and let's take a fire potion for the uh, spear and shield. Here it goes. Battle him's not a bad power. Excellent card draws. Weak Potion saves a lot here. Could also... We could be pretty aggro this turn, actually, if we wanted to. Let's 
That would mean not making them vulnerable, but I think I'm okay with that. Don't need to use the upgrade potion to play all with the mu with the mummified hand. We can just play everything anyway. So it's indignation, talk, wallop. Which block is that? I don't actually want to completely block this. Because uh, I want Centennial Puzzle to draw cards. So if I can take one, that'd be ideal. Uh, let's see, if we go talk to the hand, indignation... Wallop Tranquility, what do we actually do here? We'll do two stance changes. For 8 block, Wallop will deal 18 damage for 26 block. Two more from the talk to the hand, 28 block. That's perfect, actually. Cool. So we draw 8 cards. Uh, two are burns, we draw 6 cards to here. Empty mind gets us to here. So we can swap stances a whole bunch. We can go Wrath, Empty, Calm... Or Wrath Empty, Wrath Calm, something like that. Cool. Seems like we're in good shape here, is what I'm seeing. Free. Good. That's right. And we're still in calm. So just need to block 40 this turn. Next turn is actually a slight issue. We need to be having Wrath available to make the halt block. So we should probably not use the Crescendo. Probably Eruption, Empty Mind, Vigilance then. Take one more damage. Fine by me. Although we have no way out of Wrath if I were to choose to enter it here. This is a reasonable turn for Panic Button. I can still use Wallop to block next turn by bonking the Spire Spear. So maybe let's consider playing Panic Button here. It's not like my attacks can get a lot done here. The problem is the next exit of uh, Wrath Stance is mighty far away indeed. I guess I'm okay with that. Another take one situation. We want to play a card out of our hand anyway. Is that an orb slot? Yeah, we got an orb slot from uh, Foreign Influence. Ah, I see. Well, that's what the wallop's for this turn. We're not drawing cards with Rushdown, because Rushdown is here. Rude. You're both rude. Can I maybe just kill this turn? That would make my life a lot easier. Let's see here. How much damage do we actually have? We have seven energy to spend. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we can do it all. Total damage available. 20, 35, 46, 49, 57 times two. It's 114, Fire Potion gets the rest of the way there. Works for me.
And then we can draw the Deus Ex. That's kind of cool, actually. Discard that. Kill you. Play all of these. Conjure a big sword. Also, I must have missed math because I didn't have to use the fire potion. What happened there? No idea. Oh, I only counted Bowling Bash once. That's right. Bowling Bash is two hits. That's exactly what happened. Well, that just makes sense. Cool. Get clobbered, nerd. Just meditate. Damage. It's only a 40% chance we get a potion. I don't think I want to use the fire potion to heal. 20 damage is still useful against heart. I think 99 blocks gonna stop me? Bad news, kid. Whee. We do get a potion, but it's a worse potion, so. Uh, this is fine. Take a fear to evil. Alright, no cards to master, but we have a heart fight to win. Like water is here to taunt us. If only we'd taken it. If only. Let's draw some cards. That said, like water is going to be quite good for this fight. Good turn coming up. This potion does nothing except heal five now. So what is this? Defend Meditate? I guess so. Might as well wall up Defend Meditate unless I really want the Art of War. I don't. wallop or something? Doesn't need to be that complicated. This is an okay time to use the weak potion. It might be better into the second cycle. No, no it's not. As a Tori. Might as well use it here then. back into calm, so don't enter wrath yet. Just panic button here. Nice and safe. in this damage now. Okay, we definitely want to get to this talk to the hands. Um, that's pretty much going to necessitate using Empty Mind. We should not use Wallop yet. So, we're going to Crescendo. this for hand space. Okay, this being in play is very good. 
Six block per attack. Get this out of my hands. We do have ways into calm next turn. Get this out of my hands. This leaves my hand. We draw four. Four is good. Excellent. This attack not threatening at all, really. Still no rush down. Lots of statuses to get through. By the way, the very bottom card, Conjure Blade. Because of course it is. Let's do Wallop Tranquility. Sure. Appropriate time to panic button. We may not need to. Strength makes Pummel hit pretty hard. And I guess this is where the Blessing of the Forge comes in, because it's not going to do anything else. What is... Oh, no, no, wait. We can upgrade the uh, Expunger with it. Actually, that's better. Easy. Down. Makes omniscience free. Omniscience that mental fortress. Or now that omniscience is actually free, we can omniscience uh, conjure blade. Or we can upgrade potion these miracles and omniscience conjure blade. And then draw them both next turn. Yeah, that actually seems like the play. I'd love to Indignation for even more energy, but that would draw the Conjure Blade. There we go. Nine times nine. Twice. Also, I still have the eight energy, so actually, when you said draw them next turn... What you meant was, draw them right now, yeah? Mm. Hmm. That's a pretty bad draw order, though. Yeah, we could have played the... Conjure Blade first, and then upgraded them with a potion, in which case they would do more damage fewer times. Which I think is worse, because of Talk to the Hand. I think we need to keep them both in our hands for the moment. Worship is technically a Wrath Exit. So we only have to block one turn, but if it's the multi-hit, I don't know if we can make enough block. Let's see. Is nine by nine. The uh, eighteen times six. Well, that's pretty good. We'd be staring at uh, twelve by fifteen, though, right? That's a bigger number. Okay, just play the mental fortress for now, then. Hold on to our horses. Yeah, it is the multi-hit. Okay, that's a bit of an issue. When is heart clear? Talk to the hand. Never. Easy answer there. Doesn't happen. Looks like this will be our panic button turn then. I 
Should we just do this, I think? These rat stance. Easy peasy. And then, excellent. Defend, indignation, worship. Bonk. Still lots of awkward stuff coming up. Let's dish out some extra damage. Definitely glad we have this strength version. Let's go. Wreath of Flame here. Next turn we can halt, wallop, your new evil. Or empty mines. Eight by fifteen coming our way shortly. We need to put an end to this, or else. It's gonna be pretty hard to block this hit, but I think we can do it. is 120 incoming damage. It's a lot. I'm wondering if we can even bother with the vigilance here. this be enough to block for at least 80-ish? Actually, just 60. 60 block. Penguin's 40. We could do Vigilance Meditate. That seems like the best. Or Dash Meditate is... No, that's just worse. So I think this lives, right? Yeah, that's plenty. Not exactly living by a large margin, mind you, but it's definitely living. Uh, let me just double check, though, right? We're going to get 34 more block. So block 70, take 50, go to 9. Yes, we're fine. Actually, with the talk to the hand, yes, the dash was better. Uh, bad for Art of War, though. Meanwhile, all we have to do is meditate these two cards... Oh, also we get seven from uh, Lake Water. Even better. All those wounds are, well, happening, but who cares? It's expunging time. GG. If you enjoyed that video, watch this one next. And don't forget to follow on Twitch to watch the content live. Click the link in the description below.